Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play U4 Super Ulm. Super Ulm, currently in a war against Milan and Cremona and the Papal States, which will just run over perfectly fine. I guess they could have just not asked France to join. That would have actually simplified things dramatically. Damn it, next time I go to a war against the Papal States, I'm just not going to ask France. Because now we're going to have, like, way more drama llama. Was not given occupied cores and claims in the peace. I wonder how much that stacks. So I can lose 10 Diplo power or... New Ulm Games absent merchant for 10 years? I can lose 10 Diplo power. All right, there's Cremona, but I actually have to wait. That's my actual war goal. But I need to wait until these two things finish. I have lots of war goal, war score against the Papal States specifically, but I'm actually wanting to grab a Bruzzi. And with Corsica, ah, there we go. Empire, Emperor Triumphant. War of Religion and Empires ended total victory for an Emperor Imperial. Uh, convenient yet to proclaim Catholicism, sole confessional faith. Electors who follow a different confession will be stripped of their privilege. Emperors given broad authority. Okay. Um, can I still join? No, that is, it is officially over. Catholicism is the official faith, and I don't think anything else. There's only two electors. That's amazing. That is amazing. Ah, okay. The siege is done. So, everyone's leaving the coalition. So weird. If I grab that, ah, that is too much. But I can grab this and this. And a little bit of money, and annul your treaty with Castile, and give me war reparations. Okay, only for themselves. Excellent. All right. Good. Now, I wonder how pissed France is. Not really. Because it's a separate piece, maybe? Oh, I bet you it is because it's a separate piece. That's interesting. All right, now next is Corsica. Uh, let's go and put you in Ancona over here. Actually, these are mountains. Well, it doesn't really matter. We're mostly just trying to remove some of the unrest temporarily. Ah, there's no unrest right now, I guess, because France is sitting there. All right, we'll go down there. Um, go away, Milan. We'll get back to you in a second. I think you're going to be fully annexed. How's our overextension? 40% ain't bad. Corsica, what's the tax base here? Oh, three, so that's not going to be too bad. We're just grabbing them, basically, because it's convenient at this point. Mm -hmm. Decent stability, independence for Tyrol, but it's still ages away. Hey, free Protestant. Excellent. Venice will transfer trade power to Austria. Okay, fine. Come on, let's go. Come on. Mm. Let's wait a little bit longer. Speed four. Go, go. There we are. Okay. Uh, we don't need to actually sink their navies. Oh, you know, I guess we'll let it go. We might capture a ship. Come on. No. All right, Corsica. I will separate piece you out for full annexation. 12% overextension. That's nothing. Not even very much aggressive expansion. It's interesting. The base aggressive expansion is quite low, I guess, because of small tax base. Show them, boys! Relentless drill! We got five years of 15% bonus morale. Amazing. Um, what's going on over here? I don't understand. Did you reject it? What am I a peace offer? Truce of Savoy just ended. Sexy. Let's wait a second, though. Okay, sue for peace. Clear. Full annexation. I have 100% of you. You can't say no. There we go. I don't understand what happened, but okay. We'll start coring that. Tunis is a claim. Hmm. All right. So, what am I currently sitting at? 52% overextension. I can full annex them, but that would be too much overextension. So we're just going to have to wait. can recall that, Diplomat. We're going to have to just wait until um, until we've cored some stuff. Because I would like to eat them all in one big chunk. So we're going to have September 73, two years. Two years. Yeah, so it's going to take a bit, but that's okay. Um, we might want to go and grab, like, three infantry. And transfer them over to Corsica, over here. So we get the full 20 stack to bring down unrest. It's actually already capped out. You know what? Never mind. 
How come it's so low here? So we got minus 4.5 for friendly troops. But it seems like it should be higher up. I guess we've got plus one stability. That makes a big difference. All right. Speaking of... Oh, wow. We have no cannons over here. But I can bring this down. We only need the 20 stack over there. So let's go and group things up a little bit differently. We got some unrest over here. And none in Ancona. Well, it'll be really nice when that stuff cores. Okay, let's um, let's just speed things up and wait for that. Once th this stuff cores, we'll go ahead and annex Milan. We could annex it a little bit sooner, but um, I don't want to sit at 100%. Even though the events aren't quite the same, I think you can still get the events of plus 15 unrest, which is bad, but your actual like country falling apart, it'll just be a looming disaster instead of a random chance every month. Piss off Oldenburg or lose 20... Nah, I can afford to piss off Oldenburg. I don't want to lose power for nothing. Uh, we'll convert Friel. Ah, nice! The uh, the zeal finally went away here. Good, because once... Right now we're getting... Do we not get a penalty to manpower or taxes because of religion? Ah, intolerance we do. But not manpower? Interesting. Because you do get reduced manpower and taxes for having the wrong culture, but apparently you only have reduced taxes for having uh, religious intolerance. Go away, peace offer. Not interested. Core construction, just going to wait until that finishes, basically, and sit tight. I guess uh, these ships, well, these ships, I really don't have anything to do with them. Here, I'll dock you over here, it's fine. I got my trade fleet going on, how's my force limit? Exactly at my force limit, nice. Slightly above my army force limit, although I'm going to leave it there, that's fine. When we soak in these provinces, we'll get a little bit more force limit. Not much, just because they're not going to be cored and they're going to have some amount of autonomy. That's all right. Okay, some more manufacturers. We got tons of money. Um, let's go ahead and build some more of the build buildings. Yeah, I don't need the Fine Arts Academy. Um, just because I don't want to spend too much power points, but I've got the money for it. 3.5, 3.6. There we go. Whoa. Oh, I can't get the next one. All right. As I say, we can spend all our money. I'm not really going to be worried about mercs, but I guess I can't. All right, recall diplomat over there. Oh, this Sardinia is not independent. Ah, it's Tunis. All right. Um, wow, I guess we're going to piss off Oldenburg some more. Double border friction? Go away, Milan. Early reformers, yes. Um, Lorraine is going to hate me no matter what, right? Plus 60 is a big deal. No, they're going to hate me no matter what. Let me just get the prestige. It's nice. Actually, higher prestige means somewhat less aggressive expansion impact, plus better relations over time modifier, which ultimately uh, may actually do more for me, if I care about um, diplomacy at this point, and I'm not sure that I do. We might be well beyond that. France is the only question mark. Well, and giant Great Britain over here, but we'll deal with it. We lost a royal marriage with Poland. So let's get that back. I mean, obviously, some diplomacy is still important. If everyone hated me, bad. We really have to deal with the Ottomans at some point, too. Ah, excellent. Now I can get the faster manpower recovery speed. Please do. And we're super far ahead of time on uh, military. But even if I wasn't, um, and in fact, in hindsight, I did grab one of those tech levels. The first two here of quantity ideas are so good. It's more, more than worth delaying your tech up. Uh, to get these. But now that I've got the first two, which are the key ones, um, and I've unlocked all my Omeon ideas, certainly we will lean towards the military technology, but we've got the ahead of time penalty right now, so we wouldn't bother anyway. All right, so just sitting around waiting for those cores to finish. Let me go and crank up the speed to four again. As soon as it does, we'll fully annex Milan. Keeps France a little busy right now too, which is kind of funny. Heck, we're going to have Okay, 104 manpower. We're going to have quite a bit of manpower by the time this war ends. We might want to go right into another war after the fact. Obviously, we'll be overextended. That'll have some rebellion problems. Oh, Aragon is going to finish off the Papal States, maybe. Interesting. Again, 20 army tradition is beautiful. Yeah, well worth the cash. I should have checked first that I wasn't capped. No, I'm not capped. Army tradition is super, super good. Got some nationalists that have risen up over there. That's fine. Do I not have a general left anymore? Did he die? I think he died. He did. I don't have the points right now. We'll get them soon. Um, that's quite a lot of people. And that's... Is that mountain? It is mountain. All right. So we'll have to get uh, 40 stack over there. Oh, France is going to come and do stuff. Now, France is going to jump in with 
Actually, enough troops to get it all done. Awesome. Cool. Do that. Group up. Go to Ancona. Excellent. Thanks, France. Such a bro. Sorry about Provence. Okay, what are we at? Almost done coring. We haven't gotten the call for peace yet, which is nice. How's our actual war exhaustion? Zero. Wow. And, oh, we've already got, always got um, the negative thing. Um, we are capped on Republican tradition. When's the next election? Uh, so, four years from now, and we're getting... You know what? We can just lose the Republican tradition. It's fine. Not that the inflation would kill us that much. Oh, I can actually reduce some inflation. Oh, great. Gold mines. Forgot about that. Gold mines in Tyrol. Which are still good to have, but there we are. I could lower army maintenance, I suppose, at this point. Unless a rebellion is about to pop up. Let me bring it to half. We'll still get half contribution to unrest, which is good. Yeah, we're fine. Just gotta wait on those cores. Got that missionary working in Friol, which is really good. I am pissed that I didn't join the League War properly. We could have won it and made Protestant the official religion. But it doesn't matter. Since I can't become the Emperor, it I actually don't care what the official religion of the HRA is. This is not an HRA game, as I said before. It's a one province minor in an area with wicked, wicked aggressive expansion problems. That's what we're playing. Free conversion again, which is good. In fact, it was probably in a province I couldn't have um, converted myself because of other types of zeal. Friel's about to finish. Really good. And cores are coming along. I don't want to go speed 5, but I'm tempted. Corsica just finished. How are you doing with unrest here? Alright, if I didn't have my troops... Actually, the troops are gener only generating minus 2. Yeah, we are going to move you to the mainland. It's going to be fine. So, it'll take a little bit of ferrying job. Multiple trips. There we go. Religious conversion. Armies are coming across, which is great. Yeah, we can just leave Corsica. I'm amazed at how stable it is. I guess the fact that it's Protestant helps a lot. It does have that nationalism. And yeah, we will technically have a little bit of unrest if we go above. Um, I guess it'll get a little worse in a second because our overextension is about to skyrocket once we take Milan. It'll go to what? Was it 82? Something like that. Alright, just wait for these two cores to finish and then we'll just eat Milan. Milan and Tuscany. Tuscany went a lot more willing. I can't remember. We might have... Um, oh! Right away we get the call for peace. We might have um, force vassalized them. I can't remember. Probably we did. Alright. Full annexation. Done. Aggressive expansion is like a non-issue. Boom. Now France... Oh, I don't know why our relationship got hurt so much. Try to keep it positive. Um, let's start the coring process first, actually. Wow, Lombardy. 16 tax base. So sick. Um, unlawful territory. No. Still one above my force limit, but that's hardly anything. Sure, we'll give you military access. That's okay. We just need... Um, isn't that enough for the next one? Yep, 90. There we go. Start coring both. And despite that... Oh, we can convert a Bruzen from Catholic right over here. Right, it's cord, of course. Moved all our troops over. Corsica's got a little bit of unrest now because of our oh, increased coring coring cost over here too. Is that the same thing over here? No. Okay. National ideas of Corsica, Italian autocracy. This one's got it. This has got it here, but not that. Okay, so all the islands have increased coring cost. All right. Royal marriage with France just ended. Definitely need to make sure we get that back. Recall that diplomat. We're basically capped over there, aren't we? All right. Manpower is capped. We are at... Well, it's not capped. Sorry. It's, it's over what our old cap used to be. And we regain it very quickly. We can easily go right into another war if we want to. We know we've got a truce of Savoy going on. They're not in the coalition. What we don't have is a CB. Same thing. So that's... I guess we can want to fabricate something. Get everything down here on this coast. Who are you allied with? Savoy and Venice. Ah, hold on. Who do I actually want to declare war on? Does it matter? I guess it doesn't, actually. Um, and actually, they've got the same allies. 
So which means we can co-belligerize Liguria when we declare war, which will be nice. I suppose it does make sense to get a claim on there, assuming we can eat the aggressive expansion, and we can. That'll just reduce the cost of coring it. So we declare war on Savoy, we co-belligerize Genoa, and then we just full annex Genoa like it. I do want to make sure that we finish coring what we've got so far, just to minimize any problems. Oh, there we go, a little aggressive expansion there. Little AE never hurt anyone. <laughs> starting to get pretty cocky over here. Got some rebellions starting to creep up here. Uh, so I can get a year, 50% more taxes, or 70 ducats. Presumably this is going to do more, I'm not sure. It's only a year, but what the hell. Um, and I got some money again, so naval equipment. Let's do that. And over here. Okay. Oh, in Corsica. What can we... It's unique buildings. Where's the manufacturer? It goes there. Will it tell me how much it does? No, I do have to get to the other screen, huh? That's interesting. Um, yeah, 2.66, which isn't much, but they do have a fair amount of autonomy. I'll have to wait till that burns down. Papal States fabricated claim over here? Okay. So the Pope should still be alive over here, presumably. I have no idea. What's this war for? Um, reconquest of Napoli, which you still have a core on. Yeah, okay. Pretty legit war for you to do. Rebel Uprising, so that's going to come in soon. So let's go ahead and boost up the maintenance so that we're ready. Actually, where is it going to pop up? Lombardi. Over here. Okay. Oh, the stuff the stuff I literally just took over. Gain the CB. Alsace insulted me, so that actually gives me a CB as well. Interesting. So... Claire War. Bar, Savoy, Frankfurt, Bavaria is very manageable. Do I care? If I'm going to do a war, I think we gain a lot more from taking this territory down here. It's coastal. We've got the claims for faster coring. I can always fabricate a claim later on. I'm not concerned about aggressive expansion at this point. So, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, you're you're piling up here to be ready to fight the rebels when they spawn. Um, oh, hey, and I don't have a war leader anymore. Military leader. I have a lot of tradition, so yeah, we'll get some pretty good guys. Let me roll a couple, because um, I should be well below my limit. I think I can get... Ooh, he's terrible. I got more tradition than that. Oh, come on! What's going on here? I can actually do three of three. I'm not keeping you around. That's a lot of maneuver, and I do like the siege. Don't get me wrong. I guess it's only 66. I was expecting more. All right, well, we'll we'll just we won't spend any more. This guy is better, at least. We'll keep the third guy around because it can be handy. Just gonna go stand on where our cores are. We don't want to lose that. Brittany will transfer trade power to France. All right, good for France. There's definitely more wars we want to do here. We could swallow big chunks of Austria. We can do a lot of things. We'll wait for this. I mean. For a few reasons. We can still afford the manpower. Um, our admin's not going to be so high that we can core everything here. So we don't actually have to rush into another war, even though a lot of the timing is nice. Brandenburg. Brandenburgian conquest of Bohemia. Lorraine and Maine. All right, let me skirt around here. I'm going to keep the big stack to fight off the rebels. People are just walking through my territory over here, which is why we're getting those alarms. Let's grab half. Move you over here. May as well just siege that all out. No rush. All right. How's those rebels? Still coming. Half a year. Technically, they probably would have popped by now if it weren't for the fact that I was reducing the unrest over here, but I'm not reducing it en enough to prevent it from ever happening. That tax base, though. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. At least it's already Protestant. That is really convenient. <laughs> I guess I don't have to keep all these guys here. I'm going to keep a bigger block there, because most likely like they can get attacked here. Unless they go through Badois, they can't reach Bourgogne. We can always reinforce. I don't know. Hopefully it'll be okay. Ooh, a nude advisor. Uh, a nude advisor? Yeah. Um, I have the money to afford a higher level, dude. The inflation, when we do have inflation, this guy's technically a little overkill on it, but maybe I can ask for gold and things. We don't need the unrest reducer or that. Prestige is always nice. 
But you know what? I'm going to go for this guy. Level 2, the unrest reduction. Or the um, inflation reduction, which will save me a few other inbin points. Uh, I'll just lose the 5 prestige. I really don't want to lose the stability. I don't like that event, though. I don't like things that have a chance like that. Okay, there we go. That is a hell of a rebel uprising here. But we had our troops in position. Oh, we have free diplomats everywhere. We should do something with them. Good. I'm going to let these guys bounce back. We can actually build an extra unit. And I would like a cab over there. Let's build that. Move you here. Oh, you've already bounced back. I mean, your front line... Maybe we'll wait until your front line develops all the way. You got to make sure they don't... Well, actually, we're not corn here, so... Gain a general of 50 tradition. That's this guy. He's not worth it, and we're over our limit. Nice maneuver. Don't get me wrong. I, I really like, I've really come to appreciate high maneuver. But the other dots are important, too. All right, we'll go January 1st. We'll get another reinforcement tick over here, and that'll be perfectly fine. Who else is in this war? Oh, wow, Brandenburg is kicking ass. Yeah, all right. It's going to be a pretty short war. We could actually start our next one just fine. There we go. That's January. Let's go. We didn't get our um, cavalry yet, but that's fine. Coring. Is all the coring done? All the coring is done. I like it. France will come in, which shouldn't be a problem. Do they have a claim on Cuneo? Or Nice? No. So they're not going to get pissed about anything. All right. I like it. Kobola drives Genoa. Hopefully you don't have any other allies that I didn't notice. Boom. Go. Oh yeah, my navies. Um, I really should have looked into getting everything together. Actually, you're fine there. Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. We're going to reinforce. It's going to be awesome. Okay, let's go and smash that. I'd rather not attack them in mountains. It's all the same. Okay, well, we can start now. Because we'll be reinforcing with a big group somewhere. We'll win that. And I think we can actually... Um, sit in the Venetian Bay there, which is going to be a really beautiful thing. The ninth, Yeah, we'll catch them. Good. With massive, overwhelming force. Uh, getting here might still be a little tricky, but we can get to the capital of Venice, which is going to be sufficient. So let's do that. Slightly damaged, but not too much. Oh, France is coming. Excellent. France, I don't actually trust you to um, complete sieges over here. Hang on. Let me set up some proper siege groups quite explicitly with some leaders. Two infantry. Um, I don't know. Three cannons? I guess it depends on the fort level. What's Nice? How do I... Oh, I can't tell until the siege starts. That's kind of annoying. Still, all right, three cannons. That, because you've got a point in siege. And then here, too, we're just going to split, split, and then bring it down. And then we'll make an adjustment afterwards. But they both have a point in siege, so that'll go a little bit faster. Uh, we do would like to have a blockade of the Ligurian Sea, but I guess we have to win that naval battle first, which we should do. Excellent. These guys over here are going to be ready to take Venice. Where's the other leader? Ah, uh, right there. And I can't deassign you in foreign territory like that. I'm just going to detach a siege and bring you down to Treviso. We are going to keep our leader. We have tons of points. I didn't check his age, though. Hopefully he's not too old. Oh, he's 38. Oh, good. Oh, that's Savoy. I was going to say, why does it say king? Uh, 54. Nah, that's not the end of the world. It's actually pretty good age for what we get from our Republican leaders. So that I can't complain too, too much. You're busy desieging from peasants over here. So you... I'm going to move right into there. No, Poland's going to go there, too. Well, I guess it doesn't... I don't really care who sieges it. Um, let's make sure there's... I don't know. Let's say a couple of cannons just to make sure in there as well. 
Ah, and I can pass through here because I'm thinking Venice has access rights through Austria, which is not good for them, but is great for me. Do I want a leader? Yes. You know what? Let's make... This is a bit risky because I'm sort of investing in him, but let's make my king my leader. Because he doesn't count against my limit. Want a siege? I don't know. Go hang out over there. That's fine. What siege was it? Oh, it's over here. Excellent. Let's bring you down that way. Siege and sort of another war. Beat up all of Venice. We'll carpet siege them. We won't be able to swallow them up here. But we can do a pretty good job. Let's do that. And actually split like that as well. Get a full siege of all their stuff. Full siege of everything here. We're not doing anything Bohemia, but it's already siege. That's a separate war. That's the um, the Brandenburgian War. So odd to have Brandenburg not be Prussia. Go, go Pomerania. They did a good job this time. Sweden's still there. Mecklenburg? Whoa! What the hell? GG Denmark? Holy crap! What a weird game. Denmark getting destroyed. Sweden belonging to England. Um, lose 50 power, lose 10 prestige. Well, I guess we lose the prestige, even though it does suck. All right, well, we're going to wrap up this episode here. Um, I have no idea what our peace treaty is going to look like. Certainly, we can full annex uh, all of this over here. It'll be really interesting to see if we do grab anything from Venice. Um, grabbing anything on this coast would be a little disconnected from my territory, which might make it very hard to deal with any rebels. Um, can we... Venice itself, Venezia actually might be separate. Because it's not contiguous, I may actually be able to grab Venezia in a peace deal. And that would be amazing. That would be a huge, tremendous win on many, many levels. It's 11 tax base, uh, but of course that's the same as having, you know, three provinces that with, you know, tax base of three or four or something like that. But it's got the glass industry here, 20% more local tax. More importantly, it's an important center of trade which is a really wonderful thing. So we'll see what we can do, but that we'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching another episode of EU4 Super Ohm, and I'll see you guys next time.